Hey, what's up, Scott Balkan here with Imagination Creation Films, and today, while well, we're talking about the race to the top and how it's actually a race to the bottom. In the world of filmmaking, and nearly every other industry, there's a built-in problem that plagues every single one of us, and every single one of us is at fault. Now, I'll give you a couple of scenarios to consider. See which one you've been guilty of, or maybe still are. See, if you want to swim in a pool, you need to stay on top of the water. Swimming is mostly a horizontal sport and not a vertical one, so you might want to learn how to swim first. You see, in the first example, all of us start out with our feet touching the bottom. All of us start out with no experience. It takes a lot of time, effort, failures, successes, yeses, and an extraordinary amount of no's to become slightly good at what we do. It takes about 10 times that amount of effort to become excellent. Sure, as creatives, we have some intuition, our gut instinct for some part of our jobs as filmmakers, but it takes so much more than just some parts to turn out quality work. Work that is worth a premium in price. So naturally, we all wanna gain that experience and skill as fast as possible so we can earn that premium money. So we hit the marketplace and we look at what others are charging and we figure, well, we can't sell on experience, so we'll sell on price, maybe charging three or five times less than what others are charging in the market. We don't think we're hurting anyone because, well, we don't really have the same experience. Surely clients will understand the differences and although some may, most do not. They're looking at what you say you can deliver and how much you're charging for it. You just entered the deep end. Your feet can't touch the bottom now. You're hurting yourself instantly. You're charging less than the market. You're changing the market whether you know it or not. You see, a client is going to talk to a few competitors and get pricing. They're gonna choose the most affordable option that they believe can do the job. Now, some have no real idea if you can actually do the job or not. They see the price and they see what you offer and they may not understand the differences. Maybe they hire you. Maybe you go out there and surprise not only yourself, but your competition, your client, and everyone else. You're a rock star that just set the ticket price where you can't survive. The client will expect that price from now on. They're gonna tell all their friends about what you did and how cheap you did it. Your name will spread like wildfire. But don't you wanna eat? See, as you get better and more confident, you want to be able to invest in your business, your growth, your gear, and your bank account. You don't want to ride that bicycle to a job forever. You want to be able to afford a car or van or house or a new camera, computer, or even employees. So you want to raise your prices. You want to swim in the deep end. But you can't swim yet. And your clients aren't interested because they have always paid the lower price. They're used to your feet touching the bottom of the pool. You're stuck. You'll have to find new clients. Now, when you search for new clients with your new pricing, you'll find out you just lost a job because someone you've never heard of was much cheaper. Now that person, well, ultimately, it's the same person you see in the mirror every morning. You undercut yourself the moment you lowered your price. You started treading water the moment your feet couldn't touch the bottom. You didn't learn how to swim. The second example has lately become quite common and you may already be swimming in the deep end here. So you got some skills. You have the experience. You've won many clients by everything you've learned so far and now it's time to reward yourself. You deserve that new camera. You know, the one everyone's been talking about or maybe you decided it's time for that audio kit upgrade, that super premium one that you see in all the big sets. You've been making some money and it's been getting better, but you can't really afford to buy that new camera. Your income hasn't built up a reserve to be able to purchase it for cash, but you just know, you know it. If I can just get that camera, I'll be able to get higher paying jobs. I'll be able to rent that camera and make all my money back in 12 months. You talk yourself into financing that new camera. Sure, yeah, the monthly payments are pretty steep over the next five years, but with all that extra income I'll be bringing in, it'll be no problem at all. So you buy it. 
and you raise your prices and you get a few jobs, but not as many as you figured, not as many as you need and not enough to cover that payment. So now you have to dip in your own pockets to make that payment. This is about the point where the race to the bottom accelerates to maximum. You have to make those payments. The camera is just sitting there. It isn't making its return on your investment. So you drop the price below the market around you so that you become the lowest price on grid share or other rental places. Now you'll be able to get the quantity of rentals you need. They'll see your price and rent from you first. You just started to gulp some water. Now your new plan, well, it just might work for maybe one or two rentals before the person who previously had the lowest stopped getting rentals. They go in, they see your price and lower just below yours. Now they're getting all the rentals you aren't. So you'll have to lower your prices further. But if you do that, you need more rentals than before. And there may not be enough rentals in the market to cover your costs now. You're now in the drowning phase. This is where you start lowering the price further. You can't make enough, but yeah, at least it's helping some, right? You aren't having to pay all of it yourself, but you're going down. You aren't making as much money. You're drowning, drowning in debt, drowning in your own creation. Sure, we're all in competition with each other, but that doesn't mean we need to drown together. So what's the solution? Well, I can give you a start. From there, we all have to move forward. We all have to figure it out together. And that start is, don't lower your prices because you don't have experience. Gain the experience by working for someone else until you are confident enough to do the quality of work worthy of the market prices. Offer only those services that you can do well for a fair price and be honest with the world and yourself. Don't buy that expensive camera with hopes. Buy it with previous success. Buy it with cash. Don't be a credit card DP. Don't borrow against your success. These days, everyone wants instant gratification. We want success immediately and we want to do anything to achieve or honestly, in this case, prevent it. Sometimes we need to look at the successful to be successful. We need to look at how a millionaire became a millionaire. We need to look at how small production companies become large production companies. Doing these things is how you swim on the top without hitting the bottom, without drowning in the talent pool. As always, if you have any questions or comments, do feel free to put those in the comment section down below. I do try to read and respond to each and every one, even if it's just to say thank you. Uh, I do have a Patreon or a PayPal if you wish to support me that way. I greatly appreciate it. The links are in the bottom. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. We can still be friends. Remember to subscribe though, because this is a channel of growing filmmakers such as yourself, growing creatives, all working together, learning from each other, helping each other. And we really think you'd be a great part of it. So join it. Also remember to click that subscription alert bell next to it. That way you'll know every time I upload a video and as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. <laughs> <laughs>